Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Gunslinger Desolation Hell on Earth. I know we just played Desolation, but I like this map. It's a good map. I want to play it again. Good water. So, uh, let's see. The sound is fine. I just played uh, D and D. I always, I always leave it for the uh, the following day. Like I, uh, I don't record these episodes yesterday. Is what I mean. I mean, I, I'm getting to it. Don't worry. I, uh, I leave the, um, the day I record D and D. The like the the. The videos that come up after I play D&D, I leave to record on the day of D&D. So this video, I recorded today. Right? Because I want to I want to talk about D&D. It's a nice topic to have. Um, talking about how that went. And, you know, all that. It's a good thing to, to be able to talk about. So I like to leave it for the next day. But I'm thinking I should start to, to just put it off for another day. Because uh, when I'm finished recording D&D, like, I am so tired right now. And, uh playing the game and, and focusing on this is is really really quite a challenge so uh, um, well I'll have to you know just put it off for a day I have I have the topic still it's, it's still there um, we just talk about it another day it's fine right um, but uh, yeah so uh, we had D&D &D today I'm really 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 tired that's why I'm, I'm a little bit off that's that's why I think I should leave it for the next day and just record these episodes the day of. I record the Amachek tries the day of, or uh, the day before, because, um, well, I just, I don't have time to record it today, because, uh, I have to be playing D&D &D at the time that I would be recording it. Um, but then the, the KF2 stuff doesn't have to be recorded until later on in the day, even though I, I prefer to record them at the same time, but anyway. It's all going to be fixed when I move over to the proper scheduling stuff anyway. Very, very soon. So I guess I don't really have to worry about it. Probably won't even be playing it again until we are uh, doing the proper scheduling. Um, so, yeah, that'll be cool. Although I'm probably going to have to move stuff around at times, like recording days, to fit in the D&D. &D because uh, I can record it at any time, but I have to kind of work around the other people's schedules. And in my schedule, while I would like to keep it pretty structured, is, is ultimately pretty lenient. So, uh, might end up... Really? Yeah, okay. Might end up having to move the other uh, recording times around. The streaming times are going to have to be consistent. I can't miss a stream. Um, because that's that's a that's a big no-no. But uh, the recording time I can move to whenever I want. Which might mean, you know, scavenging some uh, some weekends on at times. But if that's what I have to do to play D&D, then that's what I will do. Anyway, so we played D&D &D today, and uh, if you're watching D&D, &D, I would say skip this. If, you, if you're a player on the D&D, &D, I would say skip this, because there's going to be some uh, some minor spoilers. Um, if you care about it, I would say that you don't have to skip it, but if you would rather not hear the, uh, the minor spoilers, um, just skip it, okay? Uh, so, the, the area they're in right now, I've, I've loosely based it on the, uh, the Lost Forest from Zelda. Right, so you've got the uh, the weird like skull kid dudes kind of hopping around, making a mess of everything. Uh, you've got the like labyrinthy type behavior, um, and uh, so the, the the part and uh, so there, there's you know there's always in all the uh, in all the Zelda games there's at least the modern ones there's always a lost forest, right? It's where typically the master sword lies. Um, and there's uh, there's there's a specific way to get around the, the thing like uh, in one game like uh, Ocarina of Time, you had to hear the music to move towards it. In uh, Breath of the Wild, I believe you had torches and the the smoke would show you the direction you had to go in. Um, so they always have a specific way. So I made it so that uh, you'd have to listen to the music to uh, to find the way through. There'd be the very faint music if you tried to hear it. Uh, you'd be able to hear it. If you didn't try to hear it, it, I wouldn't tell you it's there. So you had to try and, like, you know, listen to see if you can hear any, uh, any noises coming from, from specific places. If there's any, you know, do a perception check to, to see what's around you. They, uh, they didn't when they got, so they were, they went northwest towards the, uh, the, the cemetery. And then they got stuck in, like, a loop where they kept walking around in circles, right? And, uh... They, uh, 
didn't try to like listen to anything. They just tried to start like marking marks on the the trees and then um, seeing if they they found their way back around. I'm like, you do. Nobody tried to do like a perception check of the area to see if like. Actually, I think somebody did a perception check, but they rolled really poorly. But regardless, they they did not notice the um, the sound, the music coming from the other uh, northerly direction. Uh, so I didn't tell them about it. Uh, they went back to camp and they uh, they had their watch. One of the characters on their watch decided to see if there's any noises. They wanted to hear what was going on around them, see if there's any anything of interest happening, um, any noises and whatnot. So I, I told them about the sound. They were able to hear the faint music up towards the northwest. And uh, so they walked up towards the northwest in the, uh, in the following day. And they got back to the point where they were like looping around. So they don't listen to the music at this point. And I'm like, the music was going in the northwest. You went in the northwest and you found uh, a stopping point. Now, why wouldn't you try to, to listen to the music again and see which direction it's going to go? I don't know. It, like, as the creator of a puzzle, you have uh, an obvious advantage in, in solving the puzzle, right? But I don't know. Like, if if I if I heard if I heard music taking me in one direction and then I went in that direction, and then all of a sudden I wasn't able to continue in that direction anymore, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd feel like I'd try and listen to it. You know, trying to see if maybe maybe the music has come from a different direction. You know, how far away is the music now anyway? You know, they walked like five minutes in that direction, and they're like. How far away is the music? And I'm like, well, it's still super faint. It's still, it, you don't seem to have gotten any bit closer to the uh, to the music. Um, and then they walk like a half an hour in that direction, they get stuck and they don't try to see how far away the music is anymore. They just completely forget that the music exists. Um, so eventually by brute force, they decided they were gonna go north and I'm like, okay, that's the correct direction. Um, and then they were able to go north and they get to another thing. And I'm like, you're not listening to the music still? Uh, well, actually, right after they got north, they were still at the uh, the same place. But they were like they were like two minutes north of it. Um, they listened to the music again and it was going in the north direction. And I'm like, there you go. You know, it's going north. You heading north. It works. You know, it's, it's good. So they get up to the next loop and they're like, all right, we're done. What do you mean? Listen to the music when you get to the loo! Do with some ammo. Oh, it was so frustrating like listening to them go through this because they would solve the puzzle and then listen to the, the music and be like, alright, we're going to continue in this direction. Like, listen to the music before you solve it! Like, uh, the, the, the whole puzzle was literally just listen to the music, follow the music, and then like you're there, you're done. That's it. Right? Like, that's it. Uh... So they, they ended up going up top of the mountain at some point and uh, looking out over top to see to get in a, a feel for the the area and uh, they did that and it was good and the uh, the area they're going to the cemetery was like two to three day travel away by uh, by foot it took them two hours to walk there after they found out that they had to find the music so eventually after like an hour hour and a bit of uh, struggling to, to make their way through this labyrinth. They, uh, they eventually decided that they're going to follow the music because, honestly, I kind of gave them a hint at that point because it was it was a little bit ridiculous. Um, so I kind of, I kind of, I, I threw them a bone, you know? Um, they were like, yeah, we listen to the music here, we listen to the music here. I'm like, nah, nah, that's not where you listen to it, though. That is not where you listen to it. Normally, if I'll, I'll just let them not understand what's happening because, like, if they, if they weren't paying attention and they didn't get something like that's your fault but uh, in this case I was like yeah they they need a bone they need they need help here so uh, eventually they did make it to the other uh, to the cemetery they made their way there not just fine but uh, eventually right which is uh, is good and it took them two or three days to get there meanwhile the uh, the thing was like or it took them like two or two two hours to get there approximately but the thing was like two or three days of travel away nobody nobody questioned nobody questioned this 
And I was like, you're not going to question how, like, you got there super quickly after you... Oh, no. Why are we getting infinite quarter pounds? Did we... Did we did we set the quarter pound setting or something? Like, what the heck? Um, so eventually they got to the to the cemetery. Nobody questioned how it was so much closer than they uh, than they saw it being when they were up on top of the cliff. So I was like, really? Nobody's nobody's gonna nobody's gonna question that. But apparently nobody's gonna question it. So <laughs> it was a uneventful session, to be honest. Then we got to the cemetery and they like got distracted with the mausoleum that had a sarcophagus and they were trying to go in and like fell for the most obvious traps in the world and like one of the players did and the other players like why would you fall for that it's like well it was boring i'm like yeah well you went for the boring option instead of just going down the stairs dude there was like stairs and they just ignored them i'm like why are you doing this so i have to figure out some way to give them puzzles and stuff that they're able to solve because the puzzles i'm giving them they're not able to do um Maybe it's because I'm making them too complicated. Maybe it's because I'm making them too simple. I don't know. But it's really, really frustrating watching them at times. And I'm, I'm sure that for them, it's, it's frustrating to play at times, too, because they they feel so helpless. And I uh, and I got to figure out some way to do it. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.